Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. I've got some interesting Fallout 76 and Bethesda Game Studios related news for you all. On May 31st, little known company Sparrowsoft sent out a press release announcing their continued involvement with Bethesda Game Studios Fallout 76. In the announcement, Sparrowsoft Chief Operating Officer Dennis Larkin is quoted as saying, We are glad to be part of Fallout 76 development. Sparrowsoft creative teams continue contributing to this role-playing video game so fans can enjoy seasonal updates. If you are unfamiliar with Sparrowsoft and its parent company, Keyword Studios, they are a third-party company focused on providing technical and creative services to video game developers. On their website and in the press release, they tout that their client list includes companies such as Ubisoft, Microsoft, Warner Brothers, 343 Industries, Riot Games, Electronic Arts, Sony, Bioware, Blizzard Entertainment, among many others. In the case of Bethesda, they state they have been providing 3D art and assets for the past two years. It is unclear from their press release if this was for Fallout 76 or extended to other games in the Bethesda family of studios. Upon reading their press release, I attempted to contact Sparrowsoft for a clarification on this issue and to get an idea on what their involvement with Fallout 76 would be in the future. They have, up to this point, declined to respond to my quest for additional information. After looking further into this issue, I discovered that Sparrowsoft is not the only company providing third-party assistance to Bethesda for Fallout 76. On March 23rd of this year, third-party developer Double Eleven announced on Twitter that Double Eleven are excited to announce that we're working with Bethesda Studios to craft new and exciting challenges for vault dwellers everywhere in Fallout 76. So, it would appear that Bethesda Game Studios is farming out a fair amount of the work being done at their Austin, Texas location. What can we glean from this news? My best guess is that Bethesda is attempting to bolster their workforce to be available to work on other games amongst their studios. These games could include the highly anticipated Starfield from Bethesda's Maryland studio or even Arcane Studios' Redfall, both of which have been delayed to 2023 as announced by Bethesda on May 12th of this year. Starfield seems an obvious answer, but why Redfall you may ask? Well, Bethesda Game Studios Austin and Arcane Studios Austin share an office building here in town. I have emailed Bethesda to get a comment from them, but sadly there's been no response from their public relations team as of the making of this video. If either Bethesda or Sparasoft respond to my inquiries at a later date, I will publish an update to this video. Also, if anyone has any info to share about any of this, I can be contacted on my Discord channel or at my business email address. Links are in the description. FYI, as a teaser, I'm working on a piece that attempts to shed some light on the who and what were involved in the decision to delay Starfield and Redfall and hope to bring it to you soon. I will also be live streaming the Xbox conference on June 12th here on the Dirty Weasel Media YouTube channel and hopefully we will get more information on the state of both Redfall and Starfield. Leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I would love to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this type of content, be sure to like and share the video, and subscribe to us here at Dirty Weasel Media. My name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.